There are a few cornerstone fish in the aquarium hobby, without which the hobby wouldn't exist. The swordtail is one such fish that was important in the establishment of fish keeping as a viable hobby. Nowadays, it is one of the most affordable and beginner-friendly fish out there. However, this does not mean that they are in any way a lesser option as a pet. They look stunning and have great mannerisms. They make for a great addition to a community aquarium, and even the most seasoned hobbyist can have a blast keeping these beautiful fish. While they are pretty easy to keep, there are still a few things that you should know about them, and that is exactly what we will look at now. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we will be taking a look at the beautiful swordtail fish. Before I continue, please do me a favor and tap the like button and subscribe. It lets me know that you're enjoying videos like these. Swordtail natural habitat and appearance. The swordtail naturally occurs in a vast array of water bodies all over Asia. The wild specimens have a duller coloration. If you come across a swordtail in the hobby, chances are high that it is a captive bred specimen. The brilliant coloration that exists among swordtails these days is a result of years of selective breeding. Currently, you can also come across fancy varieties of swordtails that could have different colorations, markings, and fin shapes. Despite some variants, most swordtails have a few common characteristics. They get their names from the male's tail fin, which is shaped like a sword. The females lack this. Their most common coloration is a brilliant orange with black fins. They have an elongated torpedo-shaped body, although fancier varieties can feature variations on this as well. Ideal Tank Setup a big reason behind the success of the swordtail as an aquarium fish is its highly adaptable nature. Even in its natural habitat, it can be found in varying conditions and as such, they tend to be more tolerant of different types of aquariums than most fish. However, for best results, you should set the aquarium up in a manner that makes them feel at home. Start with at least a 20-gallon tank. These are active fish and need plenty of open spaces, especially towards the top half of the aquarium. So decorate the aquarium accordingly. Apart from that, they don't really care for the type of substrate or decor you have in the tank. Water parameters. While these fish are highly adaptable and durable to ensure their good health, you have to keep the water parameters within a certain range. They prefer hard water that is 20 to 30 dGH. pH should be greater than 7 but not more than 8.4. They are perfectly at home in a wide range of temperatures between 65 degrees Fahrenheit and 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius and 28 degrees Celsius. The key, though, is to keep everything as stable as possible. A good filtration system is needed as these fish can produce copious amounts of waste. With proper care, these fish can live for as long as five years. Diet As you probably would have guessed, swordtails aren't very fussy about what they eat either. They will eat pretty much anything they can fit in their mouths. Ideally, they should be provided with a balanced diet. A high-quality fish food, either in the form of flakes or small pellets, is the best option. You can supplement this with live and frozen food. These are some of the easiest fish to feed, and oftentimes the challenge is to keep them from overfeeding. Feed them small quantities of food twice a day, and each time with just enough food that they can finish off in a couple of minutes. Behavior and Tank Mates Swordtails are generally very peaceful, but the males can get territorial. However, this can be easily solved by providing plenty of hiding spots using live or artificial plants. Keep one male for every three to four females. Always make sure that they're in a group of at least six fish as they are social in nature. They also make worthy additions to a community tank. Great tank mates for the sword tail include peaceful tetras, coolie loaches, and quarry catfish. Make sure that there is plenty of space for all the fish and you should not face any hassles. Breeding Swordtails belong to the group of fish that are live bearers and hence are among the easiest fish to breed. Basically, all you need are multiple fish of both sexes and you will soon have baby swordtails whether you want them or not. These fish are vociferous breeders and become sexually mature at just three months old. If you do not want your swordtails to breed, then keep the males and females separate. 
However, if you do want to breed sword tails, let the babies be born naturally and move them to a hospital tank where they can grow out. It is worth noting that you won't get the healthiest fry as these fish have already undergone years of selective breeding. So if you're serious about breeding them, keep adding new adults while swapping out the old ones after every breeding cycle to prevent further degradation of their genetic quality. Diseases. Sword tails are very hardy fish and generally do not contract any major diseases. However, the fancier varieties can have genetic disorders, which can significantly reduce their lifespan. Either way, your best shot at ensuring that these fish live for a long time is by doing proper tank maintenance and providing them with a proper diet. The water parameters should be kept stable, while any new additions to the tank should be made only after a proper quarantine. Common issues like ick can occur, but these can be easily treated with a partial water change and the addition of readily available medicinal solutions. To sum it up, inexpensive and readily available can still be very good, and the swordtail fish is a living testament to this statement. As alluded to before, these are among the best beginner fish out there. It is also a great option for anyone looking to keep an easy to maintain community aquarium. Finally, their stunning looks also make them a great addition to the low maintenance planted tank. Their peaceful nature, alluring looks, and easy to care for nature make them a really worthwhile option to consider for hobbyists, irrespective of their level of expertise. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. If you want us to cover a certain fish, please let us know in the comments below. And we'll see you in the next video.